Hi there, ISP family dude -ah. Welcome back to me, ISP the Uploader. Someone cut that. Cut that from the records and must not be seen. Hello, my gravy babies, and welcome back, not to Hoi 4 a to z but to No Step Back. We just covered Estonia, and now we need to go to Latvia. Latvia, known for its this and that. Wow, what a country. My favorite thing about Latvia <laughs> is this thing right here. What a fact that is. If you're from Latvia, make sure to hit the subscribe and like button down below. And if you're not from Latvia, please hit the like and subscribe button. <laughs> All right, everyone, though, we're keeping this simple today. We are going to go play Latvia in no step back. They got a focus tree. No one knows why, but we're going to do it. All right, so welcome to the Latvian focus tree where we can go state paganism. Oh, my God, actually, that's not too bad. Oh, oh actually, hold on. Yeah, okay. A lot of this isn't bad over here at all. Right now, while we do have a very interesting pagan tree down here, I don't want another game where I just fight the Soviets and, uh, yeah, uh, I've already done that. Not that I don't love slapping your face around, Mr. Stalin, but I've done it too many goddamn times. Instead, what if we actually side with the Soviets because the Germans don't get a war goal on us? But I'm assuming if we go down the communist side of the tree here and do the Latvian Belarus. What the hell? All right. You have my interest in a very confusing tree. Also, <laughs> this does seem interesting. I think we are going to do something a wee bit different today. Oh my. The mighty Latvian Navy, everybody. <laughs> Perkin Crust! Alright, so we've got two paths to go from here. Uh, one of them, we will get help from the Soviets, a bunch of equipment, a bit of manpower, and some divisions, and a couple generals. Or we could go over here, and we can get ourselves a juicy 25% per recruitable population factor. Alright, so I guess this is the easy path for flipping communists, and this one is the 25% recruitable population factor. I'm doing that one! Oh, wait, we get a 10% from this thing. Two and a weekly stability. Um, so that's plus thirty-five percent combined there. All right, that four percent <laughs> stability though it does look a little bit sus. Hey, baby, give me a look at those Perkin Cross. Yeah, you know what? Screw it. Why not? What's an extra minus ten percent stability? Eh? We just got it up back up to twenty-two. <laughs> Might as well lose it again. Come to Latvia, the most stable country in the world. Oh, there we go. Stability's back down to zero now. That's just where I like it. Okay. After I ban the Democratic Party, back into the ground we go. If I get any higher than 0%, I start to sweat a bit. Are you should be the hot in here, or is that just my Perkin crust? I think I just accidentally joined the anti common term pact. Um, yeah. Oops. I could restart from that. Uh, I'll reload the autosave, but I feel like it fits the RP that our country was so unstable. Someone put the uh, the documents on my desk. I had no idea what was happening. Mailed them to the wrong person. A dog ate my homework, and boom, we joined the anti common term pack. Right, screw it. It's a war time. Oh, wait. I lost Perkin Crust because of that. What? I had to give you fine. You're not really fine. All right, think we might have this one easy peasy lemon squeezy though. Get the navy out, raid them, raid them. Oh, uh, thank you, the honourable gentleman from Mongolia. Good enough from Stalin though, Mr. Stalin. What's that about, eh? Yeah, not good enough for you. Not good enough for you, Stalin! Well, I did technically join a pact where I said I hated him, so that's my bad. And that should be all she wrote. Nice, Latvian's People's Republic. Right, so we'll be very interested to see how this actually works. Um, hopefully... It does work. Oh god, we also gotta watch out for Robin Hood and his band of merry men, the Forest Brothers. Alright, I got no idea how this is gonna work, but uh, there is a pending Belarusian civil war, apparently. Oh, there we go. Wait, did we only get two? I don't know which side we're on here. Oh, this is the Baltic Belarus, so I assume that's the good one. Uh, they have the most. Uh, I should probably send volunteers too, actually. Wait, nope, did not matter. Okay, I can't even get them off in time. All right. Um, 
you not got a finger to the snap up to Stalin. <laughs> it's just like yoink them into your country. Time to yoink the Baltics. One down. And number two down. Well, I do gotta say, our country looks interesting. Interestingly enough, we do have a uh, little cause over here on some Polish land too, but uh, I'm wondering if they do Molotov Ribbentrop, will they give this to us or not? The stability is really hitting me quite hard. Uh, I am not making any PP at- <gasps> 0 plus 69! Uh, I'm not making like any political path, so we are struggling a bit, but we should get some more stability once we uh, get rid of our little purge we did on the, uh, you know, band of merry men running around. I shot them. Sure, let's get an extra 15% on recruitable population factor from this guy too, so combine that with the 10% there, uh, that, that's pretty good. Uh, sadly, we did lose the 25% from the other thing from turning communists, but we still have plus 25%, so that's not bad at all. Oh, there goes. World War II, uh, interestingly enough, I think these borders are bound to get incredibly cursed because the Soviets uh, are going to get Molotov Ribbentrop and <laughs> half of this land. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's, uh, that's one hell of a border. I guess maybe if you waited until after they do Molotov Ribbentrop and do the little Belarusian uh, Civil War, maybe you could get these ones too. Um, it's only these three little provinces here, which would be interesting. Oh, wait, no, it's this one down here too. Okay, so you can get these ones here, but you, you can't get this one. That would be even more cursed. That's weird. Uh, they declared war on Finland and invited me to their faction. Are you gonna kick me out immediately? You know, I'm kind of just tempted straight up. Got to war Germany right now, honestly. I'm tempted. Well, it's still not kicking me, so I think it may just be time to take them down. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm taking down Hungary because uh, <laughs> Germany and Italy get guaranteed by Japan. And uh, I don't think I'm ready to take down Japan. I think I'm ready. I think I can teach the Germans a thing or two about... Dying? <laughs> the, the mighty Latvian Navy! Look at that. Just a few Latvian men holding the entire German war machine. Oh my god, they're not dead. And not only are they not dead, we're currently juking both the German and the Italian Navy over here. Okay, that'll probably explain what the Italian Navy was doing up here. I won't lie, I never usually do this, but I caved and started building some forts because uh, it was getting a little bit tricky over here for a second. Oh my. <laughs> the Bulgarians are now naval invading me. Do you see? Uh, things are going great over here. We've actually taken one province at what wood cost, you may ask. Well, a measly 288,000 men. It's almost 1943. Is Barbarossa ever gonna happen? Do you think I've stalled the Germans by doing this? <laughs> They're not gonna go east? We'll look dead on the rest of the war since uh, our front's not really doing anything right now. Uh, look at that North Africa campaign. Cursed as always. West Africa campaign. <laughs> Cursed as always. Asia. Cursed as always. Oh, for a second then I thought they beat China, but no. Still at war with China. You know, all you little silly weraboos uh, in the in the comments section saying that Germany could have won World War II? Well, uh, why, why can't they beat Latvia in a video game then, idiot? Checkmate. Uh, casualties are looking pretty bleak. We've almost done a million on the Germans from their naval invasions and their endless attacking of the line. Albeit, they're not really attacking as much as I'd like, and we are also getting up there with casualties. It's getting pretty dicey. Uh, they also got a lot more manpower than I have, so yeah, that, that a million to them is pocket change. Oh, I did not realize we had so many fighters in stockpile. I guess I will put these up to intercept the logistic bombing I keep having to go through. Uh, well, that's not how I thought this would get broken. But, uh, yeah, the Soviets declared war on Japan. And I have no idea if the Soviets have screwed us or helped us with this one. And I was like, oh man, we are, we are just straight up demolishing the Germans up here. And then I looked to the south. Thanks, Stalin. Well, I think we have completely broken them up here. I look at the troop count on the German side. Okay, I think you've spread a bit too far there, Mr. Schmidler. Man, it's getting a bit tricky over here on the Soviet side, though. <laughs> Please do not lose my land. Oh, my units just completely demolished them. Problem is, I just do not have enough. Go away, Japan! All I'm saying is, it's the one game I've seen where Stalin doesn't get rolled over, and, uh, <laughs> the Allies are not taking advantage of that with a D-Day. Oh. Never mind, question mark. It's gonna be risky, but I'm just gonna go ahead and move all of my troops 
and try to push into Germany. This could this could go wrong, but I'm willing to try. Oh, here we go. The allies have arrived. And I'm noticing all the Axis troops are not looking too healthy at all. I mean, in all fairness, my manpower's not looking too healthy, but I think we have this in the bag. Uh, not too sure what's going on with the great Russo-Japanese war round two, but uh, yeah, unsurprisingly, so glad I'm not there. Yeah, fighting over in Siberia now is not very fun. Uh, as you can see, there is just one big railroad <laughs> that covers the entire... They've already lost this railroad, by the way. It's been cut in half up here. Thank you. Avengers assemble! Uh, German troops just left the border? Where are you guys going? Alright, if I press go, are they just gonna immediately reappear from wherever the hell they just left from? Or what exactly is going on? I have no idea. Look, they all just like went down here. And I don't know why. There's like 40 or 50 troops just standing down here. They've just moved off their border completely. Hey, I guess this southern front was really looking very delicate as I march within miles of Berlin. I guess the Fuhrer was just hitting that extra good shit on that day. What if we just move all of our troops to the southern front? Mein Führer. <laughs> They, they are in Berlin! Yeah, yeah, but the southern front, bro! Well, there goes the last of the manpower. As Alex the Rambler always says, shit just got real. Well, Denmark just rose up as a, as a revolt. <laughs> it's pretty interesting. Uh, I guess they were pretty high resistance before I, uh, I occupied them from the Germans. I just didn't even realize. Well, I was here to liberate you, and now I'm here to kill you. <laughs> well, thank you for the 15 guns, kind stranger. Oh, uh, we are on to our last scraps of manpower now, and there's not a lot left to take. We just need to do that final push, and we can capitulate the Germans. Oh, and and the Polish rose up too! Wait, does that mean I can take the Polish in the peace deal? I got the Germans, uh, should probably go ahead and now deal with the Polish who decided to rise up. I would have much preferred if they, uh, they rose up in the, uh, the Soviet land, so I could have taken that in the peace deal. But, um, alas! Oh, that's cursed. I just realized they didn't rise up everywhere, so there's gonna be <laughs> just some Poland left over. I realized pretty quickly, because of uh, our Belarusian land, there was no saving the borders here. Oh, we are still at war with Slovakia, and uh, the Soviets probably need help with Japan, but I am not the man to do it. All of the Latvians died. Uh, although we do have a couple more people just hanging around now, but I don't think they're really Latvian. But yeah, there you go. The Baltic Socialist Republic. How do I rate it? Um, nothing's as good as Lithuania. Uh, I mean, was it better than Estonia? Not really. Um, was it bad? Not really. It was just kind of boring, I gotta say. Uh, not terrible, though. Uh, just a little short, not a lot to do, and I imagine I'd probably be even more bored if I went down this right side here, because I would have just invaded the Soviets again. But yeah, um, I'd give it a 5 out of 10. Not the best, but not the worst, you know? Um, if you enjoyed the video, though, make sure to leave a like. Hit the subscribe button down below. And uh, next video, I want to check out the Soviets again. I want to try out a different path for them. So yeah, this is cursed. Look at my Belarusian ball.